Hey, you're probably here because you're wondering what plan you're on with Squarespace. I'm going to show you how to figure that out. Let's hop in. First, you're going to log in at squarespace.com and then click your website. You'll see something like this with your website instead of this one. And to find out what plan you're on, there are a couple of ways to do it. Now, depending on what version of Squarespace you're in, this could be different. If you have this little magnifying glass, go ahead and click that. That's going to be your first step. It's going to get you to search. And when you get to search, you're going to type in billing. Once you get to billing, click that. And you're going to be able to see your subscriptions right here. Now, if you don't have this little search icon, you can click the question mark forward slash key on your keyboard. And it's also going to pull up that same window. So again, go ahead and click to billing, pull up billing, and then you can see all of your subscriptions here. This particular website has both a domain registered at Squarespace and they are paying for a website hosting plan as well. If you are paying for Acuity scheduling through your website or for email campaigns, you would see those here as well. Any kind of additional payments that you're making for digital products like courses, all that will be here too. But for this website, we have a domain and website. If we click on website, then we'll see the type of plan we have. And for this particular website, it's on the personal plan. Now, remember with a personal plan, you can't add advanced code. You can only have a limited number of administrators and you can't connect MailChimp in the newsletter block. There are all kinds of things that you can't do on the personal plan. So if you are looking to do something on your website and it's just not working, it's not there, it might be because you're on the personal plan instead of the business plan. Now, let me quickly give you a walkthrough of those plans and what you get with each. Okay, I do recommend if you are going to have your website for a year that you go ahead and pay annually because you're going to save around 30% across the board. Now, most of my clients are on the business plan. This is the one that I recommend that you start with because it does allow you to do a lot of things that the personal plan doesn't, as I mentioned before. But if you are going to be selling things through your Squarespace store, you should consider the basic commerce plan at least to get started. Because once you sell a little bit each month, this more than pays for itself in the fee. So you'll notice here with business, we've got 3% transaction fee on online store transactions. And with the commerce plan, you get a 0% transaction fee. So you can do the math and figure out what that break point is for your shop. And if you are selling stuff online and you're selling a few things regularly, the commerce plan would likely make sense for you. You also have the option of the advanced commerce plan. If you're selling a lot of stuff through your website, you're probably going to want things like advanced shipping, advanced discounting, sell subscriptions. This also lets you have an abandoned cart message that you can send to folks. Lots of things on this plan that aren't on the regular commerce plan. Now, this is just for the base plan of Squarespace. There are also things like we talked about earlier, email marketing, acuity scheduling, courses, and more. And all of that does come with an additional fee. So be sure that you check that out. Most of them give you a free trial so you can try out campaigns or scheduling or the courses and make sure it's going to work for you before you pay for that additional service. And just to note, these are obviously in US dollars. So if you are paying in a different currency, these prices may vary. Hey, if this was helpful, could you give it a quick thumbs up? That helps other people find this video. And if you liked this and want more videos like this about Squarespace, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I hope this was helpful and I wish you all the best with your website.